Okay, so I just came home and I found this. Well, this is probably like my address on it. But I found this package that was sent to me. And I was like, I'm waiting for a lot of packages from like China and stuff. But it's too early for like any of them to come. So I was like, what is this? But I think I know what it is. So I wanted to open it on camera with you because it's so exciting. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a DIY tutorial and a partnership with a shop from AliExpress. It's the American shop and they have amazing collection of different diamond painting. And they let me try out two of these. So I'm so grateful for this. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Let's get started. All right, so here we have my little tiger and I love it so much. So basically the material is like canvas kind of material, but not really. Uh, it seems pretty sturdy, like you're not gonna rip it or anything. Um, of course, because it was kind of rolled, it is it has some creases, but what I noticed, it doesn't really matter after you start like attaching li your little diamonds because it just straightens it out and you can also like put some books on top of it and wait a bit for it to straighten so yeah this is the main part of the kit so it basically has the picture on it with little squares and the squares have either numbers or letters on them uh, this one has just numbers but the other one also has letters and here you can see like the chart so basically, that number one is um, the bag with number one and so on. Uh, in this case, it's pre pretty much self-explanatory self because it's like one, one, two, two, nine, nine. But the other one is like um, D is number 12 or something. Because this one has like less colors than the other one. So it comes with this and it has this protective film on it because this like the pieces where uh, you can see the squares are sticky so you don't have to use like any glue or any sort of thing to attach your diamonds to your picture so that's pretty cool and then it comes with this little kit so here we have this little thingy so basically what's inside is this little tray for your diamonds because it can get messy but I would recommend getting some you know more containers that you have at home like little shot glasses or something okay now we have this thing which is kind of like a piece of wax I would say so you basically like it has like protective film on it as well and it's sticky oh well a bit sticky not that much but um, you use this with your tool that I'm going to show you in a second and I'll show you how to do this and then it comes with this super cool tool and it has like you can't really see it very well but it's like hollow and of course the last and most important thing is the diamonds so they look pretty damn cool and this set comes with nine colors the odd one came with 14 colors so wow that's insane so let me just open it and show you so yeah they just come connected like that and they each have They each have like numbers on the package. And even though they might seem like exact same colors, they're not, I promise, because they look so much different when they're like next, next to each other. So yeah, 
here you have the numbers and you just you know rip them apart and cut I would recommend cutting the corners that's what I did um, and then you look at your little chart and get started okay so the first thing you want to do is to take your little tool and take your wax and basically take a chunk of the wax and put it inside your tool let me show you it's super easy And also I'm pretty sure this wax thingy lasts forever because like I'm almost done with my picture or like I'm you know like I have 70-80% of it done um, and I have like still so much of it left like that's the whole piece so that's amazing all right so after you have your tool ready now you want to take the picture and take off the protective film but make sure to take it off only on spaces that spaces that you are going to work on like right now because you don't want the glue to like dry out or anything to be honest i left it without the film for like hours and nothing happened but i know it's better just to leave it on so you make sure it doesn't happen to you um and yeah you want to take it off on the kind of spots that you want to work on right now and of course you just pick the number or the letter of the color you want to be putting on because uh, that's just what I like to do I like to take the space where it's like a lot of number nine or whatever number it is and like choose number nine and just do that for a little bit and kind of work in that kind of sections so yeah let's do it so I am going to start with number 9 and as you can see I have the corner cut off so I'm just going to pour it in this little dish. officially finished with my wolf and it looks amazing and it's so nice and sparkly I love it so now you can see the lines here I'm pretty sure you can cut this out and like frame it if you would like to uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but 
I'm sure I really really enjoyed it and it was so like so like relaxing to like put the individual diamonds on it and honestly what's great about this is that you don't have to have any talent or so like anyone could do this and it looks amazing so that is my wolf done i think it looks amazing let me guys know if you'd like to see a video on the other painting which is a tiger just me kind of making it sped up with some music in the background just i don't know for fun and i would like to thank uh the american shop so much for letting me try out this technique because i love it so much and these sets are so inexpensive they're like five pounds per set and you get everything you need plus you still have some crystals left after you're done so you can make some more diys with it so that's awesome just check this out guys that's amazing they have so many different designs and sizes So everything will be linked down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you soon.